Hello, everyone. It is Kristen at the Bridal Retreat. How are you all today? So many of you in this amazing community supporting each other. I love to see that. I have worked in weddings for decades, and I know that this role you're playing is a stressful one, but it is such an important one. Uh, so I'm bringing in experts to help you and guide you and answer all of these questions that we're seeing. Um, today is my dear friend and colleague, Mary Lou Andre. She is based in Boston. How are you, Mary Lou? I'm great, Kristen. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to do a quick little intro about you. And, and there's so many questions I know that um, we've been seeing, and I know you're going to help to address those. And you've got an amazing offer at the end for these people. So um, you are amazing. You're a gifted stylist, uh, an author, a speaker. You have um, spoken at one of my retreats in Nashville, and it was so much fun. And I know people still talk about it. Um, the founder of and CEO of Dressing Well and the Dressing Well Method. Your team of stylists use their talent, experience, and, and proven methodology to help women of all ages. And this, this particular group varies. We have, you know, very young moms up to moms where their daughters have chosen to get married late in life. So we've seen all kinds of variations. And I know that you, your, you and your team help everyone. Um, you can unlock style for everyone with confidence and ease and grace, which is so appreciative. Um, many mothers of the brides and the grooms uh, enlist support here to help them embrace wedding planning. And we want them to do that with joy and confidence and style. And I know you, you align with that as well. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, your process ensures that part of this Wedding journey for moms becomes instantly more joyous, and that's what we want. We uh, at the bridal retreat that is our that is our motto: enjoy the journey, because before you know it, you blink and it's it's gone. Right. We don't we don't get to do a redo on this very special occasion. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Um. So drawing from the principles of your best-selling book, Ready to Wear, an expert guide to choosing and using your wardrobe, mm -hmm. um, your proven dressing well methodology is woven into all that the Dressing Well Style Squad does. And you have a great team. Individual style sessions, virtual appointments, group programs, and self-study tools. Mm -hmm. um, whether you work with Mary Lou's group privately or in a group situation, um, or using their tools on your own. They come with a five pillar methodology that's built one on top of another and quickly put you in control of, of your event, your closet, your style, and um, you will just, you will continue to benefit from this program for really forever. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's not just a wedding event. So Mary Lou, take it away. I'm so oh. excited to, to have you help these ladies. I know everyone's eager and listening and, and we are going to ladies stay on uh, hashtag replay. If you're, if you're watching replay, because we are going to have some very special um, yeah. things to share with you at the end. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Kristen. I mean, I love doing anything with you because I feel like we're so aligned with eliminating stress and helping people really embrace every chapter of their life with um, joy and confidence and intention. And the best news that I'm going to share today in, in our time is this does not have to be stressful. This is about slowing down and really getting intentional so that you show up celebrating right alongside your sons, your daughters, your family in a way that you feel your personal best. I've been a stylist for, oh my goodness, 30 years now. Uh, one of the best things that we have done as a firm is turned our process into a methodology and we are able to serve so many more people through programs and one-on-one -on -one consults and we have some tools but at the end of the day it's really about helping you all just push the pause button and really know in your heart that style is not elusive style can be taught and in all the years doing this, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't believe that. So we have, I was so excited when Kristen asked me to do this because I have such a soft spot for 
anyone planning an event, never mind a wedding. And one of the gifts of, of our company is that um, because we've been doing this for so long, we work with so many um, mothers of the brides, mothers of the grooms, and we some of them we worked with on their own weddings. We helped them get their dream career wardrobes pulled together. And it's so awesome when it comes full circle and you're invited back in to help with this. And our core methodology, all we really do is plug it into where you're at. So if we are working with a bride, a mother of the bride, mother of the groom, we just take the methodology and like sail it right into your life so that you're in control. What we do best is unlock style confidence, no matter if you're interviewing for a job, retiring, getting ready for a wedding. So we do have a cheat sheet. I can never say that, Kristen. Cheat <laughs> sheet. If you put that in the chat, Leah Cannon, um, our wonderful assistant over here, is happy to get that in your hands. So I took a minute uh, yesterday to just really outline seven tips that I think will resonate with all of you guys. And again, slow this process down and put you in control. I know that Kristen has a wedding shop owner coming in and I will definitely touch on some of the styles, but today I'd really like to do a mindset um, workshop with all of you. I'll definitely sprinkle in the style tips, I promise. But if you really want to um, do more with less, um, spend less money, and who doesn't want that? <laughs> and really understand, again, um, how you want to show up. These seven principles should guide you really well. So step number one is know that key planning, that planning is key. So I'll just, I, I'm thinking of two beautiful mothers of the bride that I'm working with right now. And let me just walk you through what we've done. The first thing we do is sit down and have a conversation. So you can have a conversation with yourself. Grab, I am a big, Kristen knows this about me. I am a big um, binder, a big journal person. So grab a journal just for for the wedding. Put a whole section in there just on your style. Again, this does not have to be overwhelming when you plan. So my tip number one is know that pre-planning is key. So when I sat down with Jean, one of the mothers of the brides I'm working with right now, it wasn't just about the wedding day. It was about the shower. It was about the rehearsal dinner. It was about they're having a brunch after the wedding. It was about um, meeting the parents of the groom for the first time. Where was that happening? That had already happened in this particular situation. But I'm asking all the questions so that I can map this out. We're going to go shopping in your closet in a minute, I promise you, so that you can map all the activities out, whether it's one year out, one month out. I know some of you on the call, the weddings are right here, or it's two years out. Whatever timeline you have at your disposal, you've got to kind of grab it and map it out. So um, what does that week of the wedding look like? What is the venue? What is the climate? Are you getting on an airplane? Do you need to pack a bag? Do you have luggage that makes you proud walking into the lobby, the Airbnb, wherever it is these days? It's, there's so many different dimensions these days. But sitting down, and I do this myself, and I do it with every single client. What does this look like? Because we're going to do some manifestation uh, so that you show up looking great. And I promise you, one of the biggest questions I get is I just don't have the style gene. This can be taught. It can be managed. And I'm going to share a couple of strategies with you. Number one is shop your closet first. Now, that might sound really silly when you're saying, I don't even have I don't have a dress for my child's wedding. Um, but why I want you to get into the closet with your list in hand of what you need for engagement party, shower, rehearsal, dinner. There's a lot to this game. Um, I want you to feel really good about where you're spending your money. And the closet holds a lot of the magic. 
there's brands in there that fit you well. So I went on your Mother of the Bride site before jumping on the call today, and I looked at the questions. Kristen sent me a bunch of the questions. Like just jumping to the websites is a mistake. Getting planning, getting in your closet, getting a simple rack, clearing off the bed if you have to. Like look at, like if you had to go to an engagement party today, what would you put on? So start taking what you already own and using them as placeholders. It doesn't mean that you're actually going to wear those items, but what, what usually happens is people are delighted. Um, and this follows our methodology. Step number one again is getting really clear on your wardrobe pie. And for a wedding, it's all the components that I've already mentioned. Number two, step number two is getting organized and it always starts in your closet. And then it's again saying, well, I could wear this to the shower. Depending where you live, sometimes you have to have two options. Jean, my beautiful mother of the bride, we had her daughter's shower was two weeks ago. We had two options because here in New England, it could be really cold in June. It could be really hot, but it was all about giving her the confidence and the options to shine. This is all about, think about you walking into that shower, walking into that wedding, feeling awesome. And it's all done in the pre-planning. And I know Kristen, I speak in Kristen's language as a <laughs> wedding planner. So start to map out what you have. Start to look at the labels of the dresses that fit you. And also start to see what you have in terms of shapewear. If you have some shapewear, does that dress that you really like and the color that's really awesome on you, if it doesn't quit, quite fit right now? Does it fit better with shapewear? Are, um, are you committed to um, going on a nutrition plan? And that's personal. I am not here to judge. I always say embrace your shape, commit to fit. Those are the two tips that, that are following. This is all about you and feeling your personal best. If you'd like to take some weight off, totally up to you, but it's also not necessary. I dress women in my career from size Petite two, which is actually harder to dress than a size 18W that's six feet tall. When you're hot, when you're tall, there's a reason why the models are tall. Clothing fits differently. But no matter where you are, look at what you love. Maybe Talbots fit you really well because you're a size four petite. Maybe um, a dress, maybe Chico's is your jam because the stretch of the fabrics. And maybe you go in and get black or navy base pieces, and then you're going to kill it with accessories and a shawl and just the right shoes. So this is all about you at this stage. It's looking at what you already have and matching what's already in that closet to your event as placeholders. This is also how you get really discerning with how you spend your money. And I practice what I preach. I had two boys, I have twins, graduate college in one 10 days apart last year. I had so many events and I had to worry about the weather here in New England. It's all about the pictures, as you know. So I did exactly this same formula and found that I had most of what I needed. And then I did end up buying two dresses for the two graduations. And I did it with great confidence, knowing that I had the parents' dinner taken care of. The There was a cruise on Boston Harbor for one of my kids. So I had those outfits done. And I could then go find two awesome dresses that fit the vibe for both colleges. One of my kids graduated in 90 degree weather in the month of May, which is unheard of in New England. And I did have the backup dress. So I hope that that makes sense to all of you. So shop in your closet first. The next one, I already said it, is to embrace your shape today. Embrace it. That beautiful body has carried you through so many of life's celebrations 
and life's challenges. You need to honor your body and embrace your shape and then commit to fit. And I always say that clothing needs to fit you. You don't need to fit the clothes. So I hope that that helps some of you. And with the intel that you've done in the closet, looking at what stores work for you, what brands work for you, when I say commit to fit, that's when you start your brand journey. That's when you start. The next one is um, determine your unique style vibe. So how do you want to look at that wedding? Are you classic and conservative? Do you want to blend in? Or do you want to show up and say, that's my baby up there. I did that. <laughs> so think of color. Um Navy and black or obvious black used to be like the only gig in town. Kristen remembers um, mm -hmm. Navy. Now I, I have a Navy dress on today for the occasion. I wore my Navy dress. Um, I love Navy just because it's a little bit softer. And as women age, um, some of us can wear black beautifully. And of course, a black tie wedding, you have more opportunity. But it's also about doing due diligence before you really create your style vibe. Check in with the bride. Check in with the groom. Check in with the mother of the bride. Please do that. <laughs> check in with, with the groom and check in, you know, again with the bride. Like, so Jean, my, my mom, mom of the bride that I'm using as an example today, um, the bridesmaids are wearing navy. And uh, Jenna is wearing a very traditional, the bride, Jenna, is wearing a very traditional dress. Jean is blonde. We got Jean a teal dress and we did it online. And I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute about your strategy, whether it's in on person, in person, online, or it's usually a hybrid today. But think about um, and for Jean with the blonde hair, her only daughter, she has a wonderful relationship with this young woman. Um, I was looking for hot pink. But when I found the turquoise and it checked her boxes, she wanted her elbows covered. She wanted a high neck. We also even talked about the flowers. So the flowers are going on her arm. So with the three quarter sleeve and the flowers, the jewelry, it's, it's sparkly. The jewelry becomes very simple. She already had the shoes in her closet, so we didn't have to spend on that. And we're just adding some, some earrings. And by the way, the earrings that I found her, honest to goodness, with $34 and they're perfect. So that um, then when you're, um, you know, creating your style vibe, is there an air? I've worked with mothers of the brides and mothers of the groom where there's an heirloom piece. Maybe they have a necklace that um, a spouse that's no longer with us gave them and they want to wear that. So I always ask these questions and you can ask these of yourself and just put cheat sheet in the chat and we'll get you this list. Um, but what do you need to take into account? What are your best colors? And the other thing too is, and I read a lot of the comments in the group, you wanna pick fabrics that are floating away from you, not clinging to you. And you also wanna get in touch with your, your external and internal thermostat. Like, are you, you know, do you run, especially when you're nervous, like, do you run hot? Do you run cold? You know, what fabrics are gonna work for you? Um, what kind of, you know, if you have a full bust, a V-neck is probably going to be your best friend. Do you need to cover your arms? Do you want to go sleeveless? My my, my sister-in-law, um, son's getting married in two weeks, actually. And Risa is, um, she takes care of babies for a living. She's a nanny. She goes, the only thing I still got is my arms because I'm picking those babies up all day long. So she got a beautiful sleeveless gown. And a lot of moms don't want sleepless, but I'm always surprised that some do. So it's really up to you. But before you kind of determine your vibe, do a little due diligence. Check in with the bride, the groom, see what the bridesmaids are wearing. I actually found Jean a beautiful navy dress and the bridesmaids are wearing navy. So we eliminated that. But it was on sale and it fit her so well that she ended up getting it because she's got so many weddings and her son's probably going to be getting married. And she felt, you know, Navy might be appropriate for his wedding. And if it's not, it's a good price. It fits. And I have plenty of places to wear it. So you go, get in this mindset that really lets you strike intentionally. 
oh my goodness, that's my best color. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, it does, that one doesn't fit, but I'm going to replicate that somewhere else. And then the next one is, you know, create your shopping strategy. We've already talked about closet and our whole methodology is you start in that closet first because it puts you in control. It gets you to walk down memory lane and look at where the mistakes are, look at where the winners are. I even grab cookie trays sometimes and get people to put all their special occasion jewelry on there. I get all the shawls out. Um, looking at Kristen's cool glasses. Do you need glasses? Are you doing a reading at the wedding that we you need your glasses? How are they going to fit into your whole vibe? And sometimes it can be fun and whimsical. And other times you don't really, you want them to disappear because you want your beautiful hat. If you're wearing a hat, your beautiful jewelry. That's what I mean about the planning. And that notebook can be gold because You'll say, oh, my goodness, I got to think of eyeglasses. Oh, my goodness, I forgot about that heirloom piece. Um, even with Jean, she is wearing an heirloom piece on one. She's wearing a tennis bracelet that means a lot to her family. And we went to the jeweler and got it adjusted because it was too big and it didn't look right. So we had but this is all part of the pre prep. Jean's weddings in September. Every single thing is done right now we are going shopping in august just because we want to connect and the only thing left is the brunch the day after and she has something in her closet she can wear we're we're basically having lunch together and i said let's see if we can find something special together because everything we did was online so i'm just trying to and again that's the experience maybe you want to have a day with your daughter or your new daughter-in-law or whatever it might be um, maybe you build that into um, you go shopping for the jewelry or the shoes. You know, again, I'm just throwing ideas out there. You you take what works for you. But I get I try to add the joy and these little things that I've seen work beautifully for other people I like to share. So once you've kind of got your um, your style down and Kristen, as Kristen said, I don't know how much, I don't even know how much time we have today, Kristen, but we do have a really special offer for you at the end. Anybody that puts cheat sheet in the chat will get this list and you'll automatically be entered into some great prizes here. But we also have a beautiful class called the Dressing Well Method Mastery. And we're starting in August. And I looked at who was in that class. We, we Our next cohort, we have a cohort going on right now, but our next cohort is in August. And I looked at who was in that class last August. August, and we keep it intentionally small. You're paired with a stylist. You go on a journey with eight to 10 like-minded women. It's a blast. But we had a lot of mothers of the brides and grooms because they were getting ready for their fall weddings, um, next year weddings, whatever. So that we have a special offer if that makes sense to you. Um, and in that class, we you get paired with a stylist. So you're really getting the, the best silhouettes. A couple of basic guidelines is if you carry your weight in the middle and you have very slim arms and slim legs, you probably want to go for a shorter dress to show off your legs, conceal the midsection weight. If you want to go long and you're petite, again, finding a seamstress that can give you that silhouette and then sticking with brands that, you know, with our petite clients and we work with a lot of 12 and up size mother of the brides and a lot of them are petite some of them are like an 18 petite and they never even knew they were a petite because they thought how can i possibly be a petite when i'm a size 18 it's all about proportion so even getting a skirt that you can roll at the waist sometimes and then put you know you really have a hard time fitting in a dress there's lots of ways to get the look of a dress i love chicos for that reason because i can go in and put on a Black, you know, the, the sign I say Chico's because everybody kind of knows that brand and they know the stretch. But if I can get a black skirt and a black top with sleeve coverage that's comfortable, belly coverage that's comfortable, neckline that's appropriate and flattering, you can do a lot with that, no matter what the color is. So once you kind of get the um, the silhouette, then you want to go on. Oh, and for a lot of women, I mean, um, I checked in with our stylist team because they do most of the online shopping here. Um, Macy's, Dillard's, Nordstrom, Saks on the higher end. Um, 
Most of the people in our program are mostly Macy's and Dillard's, a little bit of Nordstrom. Those are three great online merchants that okay. will send you the dresses to your house. If you're in our program, once they you, you get the dresses sent, you have a little fashion show and tell with your stylist on camera. I can't tell you how many happy bride, mothers of the brides we have. Um, but that's how you do it. Or you make the time to go to a dress shop. Even Saks, this is an insider tip. Saks no longer has um, formal dresses on the floor. You have to have them shipped, right. which so the world has changed. Um, mm -hmm. But there are still a couple of bridal shops. But again, the magic is in that closet. What are the brands that worked? And so many um, times there is a brand that you know will work and just going, that cuts your search time in half. Um, and then no floaty fabrics, know your internal, external temperature. And then the frosting on the cake is the accessories. I kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, and it's in, I'm not just talking about the wedding dress here. I'm talking about everything, even having some awesome throw on clothes in your Airbnb, in your hotel. Um, what are you going to wear to the hairdresser that morning? Like this is a joyful occasion. Do you have like a really nice pair of track pants? Do you have a fresh pair of sneakers? Like looking at everything that you need and then having that checklist and all of our programs come with checklists so that you are very in control of again what you're spending what you're using and i can't tell you how tickled people are when they realize they have a lot of what they already need in their closet and again if there is a fun you know there is a fun i don't know rehearsal dinner sometimes going into the closet that you have for vacation wear and saying, oh my goodness, I love this turquoise awesome top. I can just put a pair of white jeans, a wedge heel, because I'm going to be on the sand, on the grass. And that, that's, again, when you're talking about the accessories. For a lot of my mothers of the brides, I buy them two shoes for the wedding day. The one they walk in with and the one they walk out with. <laughs> and a lot of times that's ballet flats. A lot of times it's a wedge. If it's more of a traditional service in a church, it could be, you know, a block heel. Some people still like the stilettos. I have no judgment. I am here to listen and guide and do it in a way that honors your budget, your time, your energy. And the last tip here is all about joy. We will start. We will end where we started. This process can either be stressful, overwhelming, and trigger fights and bad juju, or it can trigger an enormous amount of satisfaction, an enormous amount of celebration of this important milestone. And the pictures I'm constantly telling everybody I work with that is in, has a social media platform, is going to an event, that's speaking at a conference, no matter, showing up at their daughter or son's wedding. It's all about the pictures at the end of the day. So even going back to, um, solid colors can be a safer choice a lot of times, especially if you've got some weight issues, like a monochromatic base, all one shoulder, all one color from shoulder to hem can be more flattering. But sometimes flowers are your vibe. And I've done flowers really well. It takes a little bit more time to nail it. So it's all about the pre-planning. And if you're one month out, heck, if you're one weekend out, sit down right now get in your closet and start chipping away. And if you are one week out, you've missed the online shopping. Um, and by the way, I tend to approach online shopping the same way that I approach in-person shopping when, when we're talking about event dressing. Um, I usually only bring in three dresses at a time because I don't want to overwhelm. And then we start. So for online, order three. I wouldn't go higher than five. Um, and again, the way you get to be an expert and, and get that result really working for you is to know your brands. Um, and again, I'm mentioning in a couple of the big box stores, I think you're from all over the world. So I apologize if some of these don't make sense to you. But here in America, um, Talbot's, Chico's, Nordstrom, Macy's, we no longer have Lord and Taylor, Saks on the higher end, not going to lie, that's a more expensive purchase. We do really well on Bloom Bloomingdale's. Another insider tip, 
Bloomingdale's is owned by the same parent company as Macy's. It is incredibly affordable online. And the other thing is I walked into Bloomingdale's here in Boston and I was working with a woman that was needed a bar mitzvah outfit. Honest to goodness, her color. And, and again, it's in, in, in Kristen knows this is the power of intention. I want a teal dress. She wanted a teal dress. Didn't we walk into Bloomingdale's? She was a size six. She had a, she, she wasn't cool with sleeveless. Didn't we find, I think it was Tahari, teal, just enough ruffle, three quarter sleeve, $99. It was a return, an online return. She didn't even want to go to Bloomingdale's because she said it's way outside my budget. And I'm like, I got you. I got you. And we're going to, we're going to shop this right. Honest to God, true story. She already had the shoes and we went down to the Bloomingdale's. People think it's super expensive. There's they, they do a lot with, with weddings and events. So they had a lot of the rhinestone jewelry. I'm a big fan of rhinestones, by the way. Um, and the other tip that I'll leave you with, I don't, and I think we're getting ready to wrap up here, is um, another thing I've done beautifully over the years, especially with women that are going. So it's not, it might not be your just your child's wedding. As I mentioned before with Jean, she's got so many weddings. You know, having a nice gold shoe and silver shoe, like block heel is usually very comfortable for most women and it you know it doesn't have to be really high it can be pretty short um i grab those and i also look for gold and silver ballet flats as their secondary shoe so those are my tips i hope that i did my job with helping you shift your mindset giving you some concrete ideas. Everything we do here at Dressing Well is very practical. I have built my entire system on practicality. All of our steps build on one another. I was fortunate to write a book. My book is called Ready to Wear, An Expert's Guide to Choosing and Using Your Wardrobe. Leah, if you're in the chat, please get that up. And then we've turned the book into an online course. It was the gift of COVID here. We ha now have a beautiful 90-day program. It includes six modules. The first one is the organized wardrobe. It follows everything I just shared with you. The next one is find your fit. The next one is refresh your capsule wardrobe, which is a biggie, especially with wedding planning. Do you have the white jeans that you love? Do you have the shoes that you love? Do you have a gorgeous black skirt that you can wear with a hot pink top for the rehearsal dinner? Then we go into accessories. Then we cover the trends, but you really can't rock the trends unless you have your basics down. And then we end with how I just ended, helping people identify the stores, the brands, and the shopping. We call it a shopping sequence. Is it online, in person? And today, it's usually a combination of both. So my something just happened with the light here. Sorry about that. Um, but Kristen, anything else you want to ask me? Is there any questions in the group? I don't see any questions yet. I'm actually on the StreamYard page, so Leah might be seeing some questions on the Facebook page. So let me see if I can scroll over there on my phone. We had loads of questions in the group, but I think you really hit on them. You know, people just not knowing where to start or what to wear. Um, some people just really struggling, um, you know, with what shoe and, and all of those things you've, you've talked about. And obviously people can contact you and your team for further assistance in another fashion. Um, but it's such an important time. And you said it when you said it's all about the pictures, because at the end of the day, that's what you take with you. And do you want to look back at those pictures and feel like you wore something you just loved? Or do you want to look back and be like, oh God, why did I wear that color or that, or that pattern or um, just feel good about it. You know, if you feel good and you're going to look good and that's the bottom line. Another tip that I'll share that something you just said made me think of it is um, you can do this online. I still do it the old fashioned way with catalogs, but a lot of times if I'm working with someone that is really stuck, I'll just take again, the Talbots, the J Jill, maybe the sacks as an inspirational. And I'll just start going through and saying, what resonates with you? And you can kind of rip those pages. A lot of people do Pinterest boards, but if you're really stuck, start and then go on websites that's like, it's, it's terrible to actually even use the sacks because all those models are this big and that's just depressing. But yeah. if you go to a place like Dillard's and just pull up mother of the bride dresses, 
that's how things will you'll start to get excited and again do it before you're pulling the trigger on your credit card and the other good tool is of course we've made a business out of this if you work with us you get a hundred percent partner on your side that's going to remember everything down to the what bag are you you know, what size cell phone do you use? What bag do you need? And do you want to leave it at the table? Or are you somebody that carries it? I mean, we we ans- we ask every question so that you're ready to go. Um, but get a partner in this. Maybe a girlfriend, probably not a great daughter, probably not great. But maybe a girlfriend that can be there when the packages arrive. That's going to give you, you know, the other, the other thing I've said, this is, Kristen's going to laugh. But I'm a stickler for how the dress looks in the back. Because usually you're at the front of the front of the um, the church or ceremony or wherever, and people are looking at your back. So I'm always about that, and I can't emphasize enough. Uh, we just wrapped up one of our 90 day programs Monday night, and I was on the call, and I said, "What was the best takeaway from the program?" And two of the women said, "Getting a bra fitting," and they said they thought it was silly. And they said it was a game changer. So I can't emphasize enough. Um, even when I when I go to, I'm starting to go to weddings. My kids are 24 now. I'm starting. Um, I, there's certain things that I wear with shapewear. It's just a no-brainer. And if you're somebody that struggles with with back, which many women do, and under the arms, just having simple shapewear. And again, it's all about the pictures. How do you want to look? People are looking at your back. Uh, and then, you know what I do sometimes? I'm all about camouflaging. I'll take a beautiful, I say hot pink a lot just because it's Barbie's coming out this summer. The Barbie yeah. music movie. <laughs> so pink is on top of mine. But even like a beautiful piece of fabric that just wraps the body, gives a pop of color, and gives that added layer of confidence. So this is all about confidence and our special today, Leah can get it up in the group. I think there'll be replays of this. If you are interested in joining that program, um, you just say, put. we have a coupon code 10% off. Uh, she, Kristen always shows up for me and I try to show up for her, but as a member of Kristen's group, we, we never discount this program, by the way. It's 10% off with coupon code wedding. I had my tech people scrambling today to get this set up. You're so good, thank you all, because I don't know how to do that. Um, and um, 10% off. And what we'll do for you, because I really thought this through, um, you'll get a, if you, and, and you have to sign up by this Friday night, nothing happens without a deadline, people. This is about account- <laughs> accountability. And I know that you'll get tremendous value. Also, it's not just about the wedding. You're going to learn our system, which right. is, will last a lifetime. Plus, you'll go on the journey with life like-minded others. It's a blast. And our stylist team is amazing. Um, But we'll also give you a 30 minute, because I know the class is starting in August, we'll give you a 30 minute complimentary connection call with your program stylist so that you can jump on with her in July and start to talk about everything. Because that's how it's going to start is start talking to her, get your notebook and have her help you map it out and then come to the class with an open mind. If somebody has a wedding, you get three one-on-one stylists. It's about two hours of time with your stylist every month for three months. If somebody, if you're somebody that has a wedding starting in September or October, we're here to serve you. You can use one of those sessions in July. We'll totally make that happen for you. So if you are interested, it's our methodology. It's Dressing Well Mastery. It's a 90-day program. It's awesome. And we do have a lot of bride, mothers of the brides and mothers of the grooms join. And you will get it. If What you do is you set an intention for the program. And if your intention is figuring out wedding, that's what we'll do. Some people are like, you know, help me, I'm retiring, I want the suits out of there, and I want the fun clothes, or I've got a cruise for my 50th wedding anniversary, whatever it is, nope. we'll we set just... the with you and get it done. You are coming back here. Oh, did I cut out? Well, you cut out for just a second. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 10% off. Leah has the link. Just put, you have to register by midnight this Friday night. Uh, we've got a cheat sheet. So just um, re- Leah will reach out to you to get that to you. I don't know how she's doing that, but I know she knows what she's doing. And if you do want to join our mastery program in August, it starts August 14th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, here in the States. 
Um, we have people from all over the world take that class, so not a problem. We also record it, so if you have to miss a class, no worries. And the magic is the Facebook group and your private time with the stylist. And the group calls are just a blast because you really do connect. We've had friendships form in these groups. Um, we're all women at the bottom, at the end of the day. We all have the same questions and insecurities, if I can say that, second guessing. The other cool thing is in that group, we have a five private Facebook group. You can post pictures, like, I love it. They're all like, what do you think of this dress? What do you think of this for my son's rehearsal dinner? And you're gonna get the other group members, plus me, I'm in there, I can't help myself, plus me and the stylist team saying, you go girl, or switch that shoe out for this. Or did you think about, I just saw this really cool bag that will at target for god's sakes that will really pop that and if you want to look like Kristen from the top when you're redoing the we're going to get you some really cool glasses to you know when you're doing that toast to your son and daughter um you're going to shine in that way too so um i think i hit it Kristen. you did i thank you so much and thank you for for offering this discount code to everyone it's so appreciative and we do have people from all over the world and if you are watching from outside of the us and canada don't worry um they are on it they know the styles from all over the world they can mm -hmm. help you don't be um you know thinking that if you're not here in the us that it's not um unreachable and and lastly just say that you know it all starts with the communication and uh, communicate with your daughter, communicate with your daughter-in-law to be, or your son-in-law to be, because that is key. And you don't have to match. We always constantly get these questions saying, do we have to wear the same color? And I always, you know, I always say, don't wear white or ivory unless you the bride tells you to. Um, and secondly, um, you know, don't, you don't have to match. You want to be your own person in your own style, um, you know, but you want to compliment right? Like compliment the, the, the location, you know, where is the wedding? That dictates a lot too, because we see so many destination weddings. Um, I was in Harrods just uh, two weeks ago. And, you know, of course, I always go to visit the special occasion section. And like you were saying about Saks, there are sale racks, there are um, affordable items everywhere. You just have to look or you have yeah. someone helping you professionally to find those. Correct. And consignment stores too. Absolutely. Um, places like the Real Real, some of the online consignment. And we have a beautiful consignment store <clears throat> in my hometown. And, you know, a lot of times those dresses aren't being worn again. So they've been worn once. And then they're there. Or there's the other thing is there's a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of um, mother of the bride type dresses with the tag still on them because somebody did a big online order and didn't get around to returning it. That's the other thing is the online retailers are getting they're clamping down. So their time to return, you've got to really systematize the whole process. Yeah. And whether it's our company, another company or a best girlfriend partnering with somebody in this process is really going to, uh, again, we're all about the joy and getting it done. And there's some accountability. There's some more fun in the planning when you do it with somebody else. And just having somebody that can eyeball things from the back from yeah. and talk you through, you know, is that really going to work if it's if it's 90 degrees? What do you need if it's 60 degrees? Are you going to be walking on grass? Do you need a wedge? Do you need, you know, is there a lot of dancing? You know, that those are the kind of things when you have a partner in crime um, that, again, it goes really back to celebrating and using this period of time, which is really short, as Kristen said, um, to own an experience in a way that will not make you happy in this moment. But for years and years and years, we always say no regrets. Let's plan this out right so that whatever happens, the photos, you did your best. And at the end of the day, anything can happen, but you did your best. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. And um, again, uh, Leah's been great. She's been putting all of the, the coupon codes and the links in the chat. We will uh, be saving this on the Facebook page and also under videos and the YouTube channel. So you will be able to find us or reach out uh, to us if for some reason you cannot. So thank, thank you so much, Mary Lou. Oh, so welcome, to see Kristen. You. Thank you for having me. And again, I'll, and if anyone has questions of me personally, 
just reach out. I'm really good about getting back to people on DM, even a call, even a Zoom call. We're ha- we're here to serve and provide as many solutions as we can. So our website is also dressingwell.com and you can learn all about what we do over there. So Kristen, thank you so much. This was a blast. So good to see you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.